Hello and welcome to Alma, Missouri. This is episode 44, I believe. And in this episode, it's all going to be about the potatoes. The potatoes are ready. At least I think they are. We're going to have a quick little nip out there and go and have a look. Yeah, I can see. I can see that they're ready. So I think the first thing that we need to do before we even start harvesting is we need to put in our potato processing factory. We're going to get heaps and heaps of potatoes. So we need somewhere to be able to process them rather than just sell them as they are. And there were two there are two nice potato processing mods. Um, the first one, the one that I would like to have put in, um, it's a bit more versatile than this one, um, but there was a mod conflict and I think it's got to do with the greenhouses. Um, in any case, this will do. Um, it's a little bit limited on what it produces. It only produces um, potato chips or crisps and uh, french fries, but still, it's not a not a major problem, it looks good. It's a little bit too big to go in the actual industrial area that I've created so far. So I'm going to put it across the road. I was always going to use this flat area for something. So I'm not too worried about that. It'll fit in quite nicely there. In fact, it'll fit in better there than it would across the road. Perhaps we'll put the um, sugar processing plant across the road. Hopefully it'll fit in. It's also quite a big operation, I think. In any case, there it is. The potato processing plant. This is where all the goodies will come out. Nice wooden building. Storage at the back there and the washing facilities. need to put, put in some um, landscaping around there well put in some uh, hardcore driving surfaces in other words we need to pave it put some asphalt down I think we might as well do a little bit more while we're doing that around this area as well. Let's cover up a bit of the dirt area. Yeah, so the potato field is huge. It's going to take a while to get it done. Um, I think we'll use the Colossus Harvester. Um, oh, but we'll get to that. We'll Let's get this done first. We'll just finish off while we've got the contractors here. Get them to uh, finish off this little area where we've already got two factories going. This is the clothing factory, of course. And this is the juice processing plant. Then once we've put in the, I think the next thing that'll we we'll need to do after this is the um, sugar processing plant, which will which we'll do when the when the sugar beet is ready for harvesting. Right, and this is what we really wanted to do it was just to get the. asphalt around the potato processing plant. So I'm pretty sure we will fill up this um, this processing plant with uh, potatoes. I fully expect us to get 
around the million mark in terms of litres from the um, potato field. Of course the potatoes were planted already when we bought the field so we haven't had to incur the, any of the planting costs. We did uh, fertilise, so we did um, add a state of fertiliser into into the production, or in, into the um, uh, onto the fields, should I say, not into the fields, onto the fields. I suppose the fertiliser does go into the fields, but uh, we put it onto the field. Um, so we did put some input into into the production. Yep, that's that pretty much done. There it is in all its glory. So we have uh, given up a little bit of um, the grass field, but we do have a lot of grass now. So I'm not too worried about that at this point in time. We seem to be coping quite well with uh, the requirements for for the sheep and for the cattle, for the cows. So this is the vehicle we're going to get, the Colossus Harvester. Now I'm going to go a little bit out of into the unrealistic mode. I'm not going to go right up to sending the thing out at 70 miles an hour and that type of stuff. We'll go the unrealistic here simply because it um, can take 253,000 litres of potatoes at a time before it needs to be re um, emptied. Um, that just gives us a little bit of a start. Um, of course we don't have a trailer that can empty it completely but we will then be able to shuttle um, once it's full the first time we'll be able to shuttle between the harvester and the and the potato processing factory until it's full. I'm just going to make this a nice bright colour so that we can see it. It is a little bit early in the morning so I'm not sure we'll get really good pictures We'll get we'll get pictures, but they they won't be as good as if they were done at midday. But we've got to get started because this is going to take a long, long time. So we're just going to lease that. It costs a pretty penny to, to lease it's over eighteen thousand euros just to lease it, or dollars, should I say, uh, to lease it. And then we need to get a header for it. A potato header. There we go unrealistic but we're not going to go unrealistic on this I think we'll go standard on this um, just to um, make it a little bit more realistic and just to kind of balance it out a little bit um, I want to do it fairly quickly um, but I also want to show that it's um, a pretty big job so that's not too bad about 2,000 so it's about 21,000 to lease the Harvester off the bat. This probably will be because it's going to take a while. There's probably be a couple of hour, hourly rental fees. So um, I, th I suppose maybe thirty, thirty thousand or so to uh, um, to lease this harvester to get this harvest in. Not too worried about that because we're going to get plenty of it. Right. Let's get this onto. So I'm going to put this onto. Um, course play straight away because there's going to be a lot of shuttling to be done um, and I want to keep it moving as much as possible there will be the odd time when we won't get back in time to to empty the the harvester before well before it gets full again but um, hopefully uh, it won't be too many times so we'll Keep it. Keep the productive productivity levels up. Let's put it that way. We'll do four headlands um, just to give it enough space to turn around. The Colossus Harvester is not the well. It doesn't uh, it doesn't turn on a dime, as they say. Right there she goes. We're harvesting at a reasonable pace, probably about 16 miles an hour. 
the good thing is that this probably gets pretty much close to the three headlands done before we need to to, um, to empty it for the first time. And that's, when, and that's when we'll start shuttling. There we go. Looking good. Just catch the cow field uh, that we got going in the last episode. So that's the problem with it with the harvesting this early in the morning the shadows and you're trying to fall. But uh, yeah we'll try we'll try our best to get that going. She's moving at a reasonable speed, around about 16 miles an hour I think I mentioned. Well it's probably about time to get the uh, trailer hooked up. It's not going to be long before we have to uh, start clearing the harvester or start taking. Oh, I suppose you could call it clearing the harvester, but start offloading from the harvester. There you go, it's full. So we'll nip on down, go and pick that up and get it going again. It's not 100% full, but it does seem to have stopped for some reason. Well, nevertheless, we'll uh, we'll take a load off and see if it gets going again or not. Otherwise, we'll have to find out what the problem is. It's like anything else in farming. Little things get sent to test somewhere along the line. Right, so we've got... So that's 250-odd thousand litres in the harvest already done pretty much the headlands I think and uh, we've got a hang of a lot still to go <laughs> so yeah I don't think we're going to be far off the million mark there we go. oops got a little bit too close it's offloading it's fine offloads really really quickly this uh, As you can see, we've hardly dented it. There's probably still 200,000 in the harvester, but it'll all get going. So we will nip back to the to the uh, potato process, processing 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 farm, <laughs> and we will uh, offload this and get that going. Well, I think there's probably some more inputs in there. We'll check it out. I think we're going to need some sort of oil and if I remember correctly I think it also needs water obviously to clean the potatoes before they are sent for chopping and frying so we've got at least we've got a Nice access, it's not a million miles away to go and deliver this, and there's going to be a lot of deliveries, I would imagine. And this is a big trailer. I don't know whether we'll be doing uh, planting potatoes in on this scale again. I think we need to just see how uh, how long this whatever we get here because it'll be well, it'll be close to capacity I would imagine if I think we get uh, um, if I think if we get what I think if I get this right if we get what I think we will off the field yeah so 52,000 in there and that's just hardly scratched the surface so we need canola oil and we need uh, Water, so we're going to have to keep up with the canola oil because um, we've got uh, we've got that in the mill at the moment in, in the um, oil mill at the moment. So, um, but it's also supplying the uh, mayonnaise factory as well with canola. So yeah, canola is going to be one of our major crops to keep the oil side going. We've only got eighty six thousand. 
it is processing at the moment. Hopefully that'll be enough to keep us going until the next harvest with the potatoes. We'll see, but we'll... Uh, yeah, so it's looking like uh, besides our, our milk product and our pizza um, business, it's, it looks like we're going to be a canola pr producing farm and of course uh, wheat or barley or something like that for the uh, for the straw well the canola with the added straw mod um, also uh, produces straw so that's good yeah so luckily we've got quite a bit of canola in there so I'm sure that the Got 86,000 raw canola producing, so that's just about full. So I think it would be okay. So I think that the canola, because we've got it to distribute, will start distributing between both production units. Hopefully, the mayonnaise gets full quite quickly and then it'll start um, sending more out to the um, the potato production factory or for, uh, unit whatever you want to call it it's a factory really yeah right so there is the harvester coming up in the distance just try and keep out of its way and as it turns down we'll have the uh, the offloading shooting on the right side and we will we'll chase it down Get it off loaded or we'll get another load of load out of it it won't be completely off loaded see even even three uh, four i think it was four headlands that we did it was not enough it was still driving off the off the edge so it's well, it's not too much of a problem it's not getting stuck that's the most important thing we're gonna have to move a bit to catch up with it Luckily, we know that this offloads pretty quickly, so yep, there we go. Full doesn't take long to, <laughs> uh, to fill up this, uh, this tractor or this trailer, should I say? The reason why I get tracked on the mine there is it was well, it's 52 tons behind it, so it's just taking a little bit of time to get up to speed. And this is a 400 horsepower tractor, I think. That's another thing we're going to have to start thinking about is getting, um, probably increasing our fleet of tractors um, so that we can get simultaneous actions going. As we're doing this, I am uh, planting canola in uh, one of the other small fields at the moment. so. Um, We've got the uh, the old John Deere doing that. I haven't uh, got the the original, um, or shall we call it the middle John Deere, working at the moment because I'm going to put some. I need to fill this up with uh, with water. By the time I've got it filled up with water, hopefully, hopefully we've got some uh, canola oil being uh, shipped over from the factory yeah it always happens on the second or third time I get talking and uh, not concentrating properly and I bump into a shed somewhere along the line nevertheless very low speed no real damage done the second load out. We'll whiz on down and go and get another load. So hopefully the harvester will be, be able to go down, come back and there will be, there'll still be 
well it'll have enough room in the harvester to be able to uh, make it all the way back to the top so that we can offload again otherwise we're going to have to be chasing it up and down the field to find out where it's um, where it's at every time so let's see if that works or not once again our young cattle very happy in their new field enjoying the sunlight and the fresh air where is that thing it's probably there it is coming back up in the distance let's get ready for it hopefully we're not in its way like we were the last time and we'll see whether we can offload it seems to be okay it's still going so it's n it's not too far from the top and hopefully every time we offload we're taking a little bit more out of the harvester so that it, by the time we're finished harvesting um, it won't quite have 200,000 litres in the in the hopper Turning circle is all right. It's not great, but it's it's a big machine. It's got to be to be able to ca carry all those potatoes. Must have a hell of a machine on it. A hell of an engine. There we go. We've caught up. Oops. Get this offloaded in the uh, at the pr uh, processing plant, and then uh, I think we need to think about getting some water in. Yes, we'll get a bit of a rhythm going once we've done the water. And we'll need to get that processing so long so hopefully the the um, oil factory is uh, is sending oil across here as well as to the mayonnaise factory get that all floated and while we're doing that we'll just nip up and go and hook up the water bowser I don't think we put in a tap there so we need to get the fellas to hook up to the water supply around the um, the potato processing plant for now we can just take some water from the greenhouses or from the taps at the greenhouses should I say we won't take take them from the greenhouses at, at themselves of course because that's just robbing from Pete Robbing from pizza to water pool. <laughs> there we go. Good. Got lots of uh, product to collect, and we'll do that in between harvests, or in between, not harvest. <laughs> We're going to be doing just one harvest today, this massive one, in between offloadings. going to be a lot of water going in here as well I think Let's give him a tap time to move on oh, I forgot there's no drive in there <laughs> I was driving both vehicles okay uh, we'll just move this one out of the way thought it's give a little gentle nudge and if I'd had a work in there it would have moved but that's um, yeah no harm done a couple of scratches on the trailers it's not like we went in there at 100 miles an hour or something like that. <laughs> right, get that all floated. Get the lads working on putting in a water pump. Water points, should I say, right out there. Use 
the Omitana one is again it's brilliant for this type of operation should be able to go and just just have to pull up a couple of the uh, couple of the blocks just to put it in but uh, yeah just put them straight back in again round about there should be fine good stuff right so now we can do our little load and offload trick so I think it takes about a hundred thousand liters of water so that's going to be about about 10 times I would say so we'll just keep on going at that and, and the good news is that the cannoli is coming through so we will be in production now good stuff that's what I like there we go. I think we're just about full aren't we no not quite Yep, that's that full. So we've got 100,000 litres of water in there. 155,000 litres of uh, potatoes so far. That's good. I'm going to get this parked up and then we'll get back into the... into the chase... Uh, into the chase tractor. Uh, I can see that the uh, harvester has stopped. It's not too much of a problem because we've got a a major job done, we've got the water filled up and we've got the factory running so um, yeah I don't think we've lost too much time in terms of harvesting but I should think that this will be the last time that we will allow it to stop we won't show it to you all, we'll do maybe one more and um, then we'll uh, jump cut to the end. We've done quite a bit already. But I think there's still quite a few loads to be done. Keep us busy for a while. It goes so that's good yeah as mentioned earlier I don't think I will be uh, planting uh, potatoes at this scale but the good thing is that um, we were it's made for a, a good little video on, um, on using the Colossus of course we can, can be doing that a lot a lot faster because we could have had up to about a 20 meter width um, header on there very unrealistic of course and that harvester could be working at um, I think about 40 miles an hour somewhere around there I can't remember exactly what it was but I mean really really fast just normal speed top speed of that harvester just on normal traveling conditions so but as, as I mentioned, I wanted to create a sense of reality, even though I'm using some parts of the unrealistic mode um, that is available with the Colossus Harvester. It will definitely do smaller fields in future for potatoes. And... Um, for the sugar beet as well because we've got a big sugar beet harvest coming in in the next month or so as well but you need this big harvest just to get going that's my feeling as I said we haven't really it hasn't cost us much to get this into uh, 
into into production. It's costing us quite a quite a penny to harvest it. But yeah. There she goes. Still working pretty efficiently. Getting near the top. Quite full. Um, 91% full. So it's probably going to be touch and go whether we make the top, but hopefully we will. And I think after this one, because we've got the processing plant going, we will be um, pretty much waiting for it at the, at the top here. As I said, we won't show you all of that. I'm quite happy that we've shown quite a bit of the harvesting here. I'm sure you've got a fair idea of what's of what the process is and the way I've done it just holding my breath now to see whether she's gonna stop or not whether she's still gonna make it we know she's well into the 80s now in terms of capacity that's the harvester of course yeah she's gonna make it turn around Get her, un get her unloaded, get that load up to the processing plant, and we'll do it all over again. I think I've said it many times in my videos. Um, farming can be, can at times be pretty repetitious because you have to do a lot of the same processes over and over to plant and sow and fertilize and harvest so yeah there is a lot of repetition but you get to drive nice big tractors that's what it's all about isn't it <laughs> oh dear oh, fantastic right we'll get this one in and then uh, I think what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll jump cut to well somewhere near the end I would think that somewhere along the line we're going to have filled up the potato processing plant wrong gear here we go stalling going up the little hill there with it with this weight it's okay we've got it going yeah so maybe i'll have to look at this, some something a little bit more powerful in tractor wise as well the, does seem to it gets going I mean, once it gets going it's fine but it seems to be struggling to um, in the initial stages of pulling this big big trailer well, it's, it's a hell of a lot of weight 52,000 liters worth of potatoes head on back right here we are we are fairly near the end. Got the uh, the harvester just about ready to be to give us up another load. There's not an awful lot still to do. It's a little bit of a little bit of bits and pieces here, really, because. Um, the field is not a hundred percent square so there's some nooks and crannies that need to be dealt with but before that we'll take this load off here we'll get that into the processing plant and i think that the processing plant is going to reach capacity somewhere along the line when we're making this delivery that's why I've come 
come back to you now just to show you that rather than wait until it's completely finished we're having to move to catch up here okay full tilt to catch up to it <laughs> i think it's uh, harvesting at 16 miles an hour get it to check out check out the potatoes and yeah there we go we're full let's get back down and go and see if uh, we filled up the um, the potato pro processing pot. I think it takes a million liters, or 999,999. But I think we're going to get. I think it'll be full. Just a question of how much it's going to take out of this light. Yep, there we go. So that's that full. And we'll head on down and we'll sell this in our farm shop. We'll take her down to the farm shop. Yep, $297 per metric ton. Several thousand liters, call it a ton. It's one thing I've never quite understood why um, farming simulator uses liters instead of tons. So I suppose maybe it's just to standardize things. of course different things weigh different amounts so yeah I think that's probably why they chose to do that all right so this should give us what about 12 or so oh well, this is not full this is not full so 7,000 so we're getting a bit of money starting to make back the key the if we can make back the costs of um, of leasing the equipment, I think we will, because there's, there's probably still quite a bit in the actual harvester as well, which ha um, which has never been fully emptied. That's good timing. Don't have to wait for it at all this time. It's not going to happen to to too often let's put it that way right so this is a full and let's see how much we get for this so we've already got seven thousand um what did the the harvester was eighteen thousand plus another two thousand out for the let's call it twenty two thousand to lease the harvester stuff what else did we have to pay uh, we need to recover the fertilizer costs which weren't huge and I think there was some I think we weeded it as well so there's a little bit of those costs but we won't worry about those now those are small compared to the other numbers that we're talking about here so let's see if, how far let's say 30,000 see if we can get any close to 30,000 out of the extra potatoes <laughs> so the potatoes over 1 million so of course that was a million litre harvest already done and we've put about 30,000 litres plus another 50 about 80, another 80,000 nearly 90,000 litres into the into our own sales Oops, okay, so the worker did really well up until this point and now got stuck in the trees. That's fine. We don't have a lot to finish off. We've only got this top little bit still to do. Uh, yeah, we've got 90 odd thousand in the, in the harvester plus the slot, so we'll get another full load plus a little bit. 
So yeah, so we'll definitely cover all our costs um, in terms of the fertilizer and herbicide and the leasing of these equipment just with selling the product over one million liters. So we still have one million liters sitting in the in the potato processing plants probably take a long time to realize all that all that money but it'll come in at a steady pace every month I, think, I should think keep us going for a few months pretty happy with that bit of untidy harvesting we'll have to come and clean that all up Glad that the work has gone home and hasn't seen me missing all these little bits and pieces. <laughs> uh, yeah. There you go, that's it done. Let's go and offload this into the trailer. So, what are we, just over 100,000 litres in there. So, yeah, another two loads. And uh, the harvest will be done. Then I think what we'll do is we'll go and have a look and see if we've produced any product. We have been going for quite a while. So in real time, this whole harvest has taken about two and a half hours to do. And that's at, as I said, um, a bit of a mixture of using well using some unrealistic features um, particularly in a slightly faster speed although not top speed on the harvester uh, and of course the capacity which I think allowed us to do a lot of um, quick shuttling so we kept the harvester going for quite a long for long periods of time without it stopping um, which is key in this type of operation. Try not, try not to get your harvesters sitting around doing nothing, waiting for uh, tractors to come and to come and empty it. And I think that worked out quite well. I think uh, we only had the harvester stop twice. Once when we had the initial filling of the after the two after the four headlands, and we were. We had it stopped then, um, and I don't think that was for too long. And then once when we were filling the water, and also I don't think that that was for too long. So yeah, I think we've been pretty efficient on this harvest. If we had used standard equipment, I don't think we would have been anywhere near finished yet. I think it would have taken at least three times as long if not well, it might be a bit of an exaggeration I don't know the truth is I don't know how much longer I just know it would have taken a lot longer uh, boy uh, you're talking again and you're not concentrating on where you should be just need to get it throws the potatoes out of it so you don't have to get underneath the chute you just need to have your trailer aligned with the with the edge of the of the chute. Right, so that's nearly a full load. And that's the harvester empty, the field field empty, the potato processing plant pretty much full. Won't be full now because it's had a, it's been processing. And the uh, and some money made to boot enough to cover our costs so besides the, the costs of the actual processing of the of the potatoes into chips etc we should be in profit on this field there we go I think we've been getting about um, 15,000 nearly 16,000 with the environmental score uh, bonus um, per 52,000 litres of, um, of potatoes 
yeah so yeah so that one's just 14,000 but that wasn't full so yeah it's about 16,000 liters a load not too bad the good news is that there are that there is a pallet of um, of each product so we've got a pallet of potato chips sloke crisps and a pallet of french fries so we're going to be selling these through our farm shop as well don't really have too many outlets for it Dino might take um, the chips oh I hate it when that happens I forgot to reset especially when it's the first delivery of a product and you've got these pellets sitting in the air in any case nothing I can do about it now let's get them delivered Let's see how much we make for a pellet from a pellet of each of well from one one each of the of the products one pellet of each product let's just make it clear <laughs> how much are we going to get oh nearly four thousand so around about 2,000 each of the pallets I think we'll be getting a lot more pallets out of that lot in any case that's where we're going to end this episode thank you so much for watching do hope you've enjoyed this exciting episode of potato harvesting and we'll catch you in the next one cheerio